What is going on guys, it's Armada, and today we got the new map, Beast from Beyond, and I know I'm pretty late because, you know, the Hurricane Irma stuff, and it just destroyed my whole town, rip around, but I finally managed to get power, and now I'm making videos on them, so I suppose that's really, really good for me, and today's video is going to be about how to find Jug and turn on the power, because finding Jug is very important, especially on these maps, and how these cryptics just kill you really fast, it's it's really really valuable to have power and jug and if you guys turn on the power then the cryptics don't come anymore but anyways in the spawn there's going to be cryptics if you guys are not good at zombies or just started playing zombies I don't recommend playing this map because it's pretty dang hard but if you guys are up for the challenge then you're playing beast and beyond there we go but for the first round um I can't really say anything because you just got to kill the cryptics it might be a little bit hard because there's a lot and they just jump on you I died so many times but once you do kill all of them and save that one alien what you're gonna want to do is go over here by this door right here and buy this door and it costs 750 which shouldn't take you long to get you start with 500 points but enter through the door and make it to this area as we saw in the first scene of the trailer of beast and beyond and go up the stairs now that you're going up the stairs you're going to want to be on this side of the room right on this part where it doesn't have any fences and you're just gonna stay there for one whole round the reason why we stay up here is because it gives you an advantage against the aliens now in round two is very very difficult to kill these aliens but doing this tactic and staying on this floor right here the aliens have to jump and it gives you a lot of time to just shoot them and kill them not a lot of time I think it gives you like a second and you can just kill the aliens in that second it's pretty dang helpful if you just stay here for all of round two and you should get some amount of money I found this strategy really really useful against the aliens and you may notice if you're doing this the aliens might not die or you might be reloading so they just jump on you and you get pushed back and that's totally fine just but if you guys kill the alien fast enough you can just hop back right in your position like i'm showing you in the gameplay i actually think that happened to me so that's a really good example just to analyze what i do there just kill the alien and then hop back in your position and they will not actually spawn behind you they'll just try to try to jump it and then they'll all die because of this strategy but we are actually saving up for 2000 points so in round three you're gonna want to save the last alien and make sure you have 2,000 points. Once you do have 2,000 points, you can buy this door right over here and you'll make it to this strange room with like a giant crater inside and if you actually go down the stairs and look in the crater, you're gonna see some green lights and you're gonna jump at this little ledge and it has another green light in it and keep running at the end of the tunnel you'll see Neil's head now this is basically the power in this map so you want to grab that and make sure you do not kill the alien just yet you're just grabbing the Neil's head and then make it back to spawn and right next to the door I told you to buy in the beginning you're gonna place Neil's head in it and basically you now have power and if you kill this alien you will have zombies instead of aliens which is so helpful because those aliens were pretty pretty damn frustrating to deal with because they always jump on you and stuff like that and i'm so happy that this power just eliminates them they're still gonna be in the game but not as usual as when you spawn in all right guys now we just successfully just made it through on powering on the map and no more cryptids in the beginning of the round we got zombies but now let me tell you guys where juggernaut is because I feel like that's pretty important to find jug if another cryptic does come there and tries to freaking rape you but the way to find jug is basically going on the similar route that we did to turn on the power but instead but when we jump inside the giant crater with green lights and we could just stop right there and boom we just see Juggernog right there and since we turn on the power we are now able to actually grab Juggernog. I actually didn't have points because I actually don't know why I didn't. But in all seriousness, yeah, that's basically where Jug is and that's basically how to turn on the power for the map and get rid of those cryptics because I hate freaking aliens 
Um, I'm so happy that they are gone now, but... But yeah, that's actually the first guide I have for Beast from Beyond, the new Infinite Warfare map. More will be coming out, like, how to unlock Pack-a-Punch really, really soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys leave a like and check out my little Instagram and Twitter out. And make sure you guys check out my Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. I'll be streaming different games there. So subscribe if you want some more type of content like that. But yeah, see you guys later and peace.